Hi guys, this is Jason here from Nathaniel and in this lesson let's learn how to play the popular song Jingle Bells on the piano and I've developed five ways to play this song keeping the melody the same of course. So first off we're going to learn the melody then we learn the chords which are used for the piece and then we are going to learn a lot of patterns which you can play the song in and this is a very rhythmic song so uh, all the five methods which we have for chord playing revolve around different rhythms I think there will be some version out of this five which will work for you so let's get started right away with the melody I have chosen the melody on the key of G major one sharp F sharp right so let's just get the melody I guess you can figure it out by your ears itself but nevertheless let's just figure out the notes we start with the third of the G major scale which is B jingle bells jingle bells jingle bells jingle all the way okay quite simple right lot of B's jingle bells jingle bells jingle all the way okay Next line. Okay. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. If you cannot play those B's very fast, it's okay. You can do something like. I think that also sounds nice. Anyway, let's do the whole line together. B, 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 jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle. And then it repeats one more time and then it has a different ending. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Again, oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Okay, so that's how we end the piece. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Da -na 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 -na. The first time, mm -hmm. yeah, it changes a bit only at the end. Let's do the whole melody once more, everyone. You can play along with me. So that's about the melody. Let's first look at a very simple block chord pattern in the left hand which will be more than sufficient to get cracking with the song. Okay, so we start with our G, B, D or the G major chord or the tonic chord first as most songs end up starting with in any case. So we start with G major. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way and try to hit the tonic chord at every one and three of the bar so one and three and four and one and three and two three four okay and then oh what fun see the g major chord doesn't sound good on the c so there what chord shall we use let's do the c major chord there oh what fun it is to write and then you have to come back to g oh what fun it is to Okay, let's do the whole the whole thing till there. Jingle bells, G major. Jingle bells, jingle all the way. And now C. Oh, what fun it is. G. In a one horse open sleigh. Okay, what do we have there? Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse. Okay, there we have an interesting chord. We have an A major chord, which is actually not part of the G major scale, but it's actually what we call as a secondary dominant chord, wherein it resolves to another chord of the scale. In this case, A resolves to the, the D chord. And then D comes back to G. 
G. So D is actually what we call as the primary dominant chord because it's a dominant chord which resolves to the tonic and it's part of the G major scale. So in the G major scale, you need to remember that the D major is your dominant which resolves to G major, which is the tonic. But then you could also have another chord resolving to the dominant, which is the A major chord. In a one horse open. Coming back to D. Slay. And repeat. So it creates a nice sense of excitement going back to the next section of the song, which is pretty much the same thing, right? So let's do the whole thing with chords. I'm going to call out the chords. Jingle bell. That's G major. Jingle all the way. Still G major. Now, oh what fun. C major. Yes to right. G major. In a one horse. A major. Then slay. Going to D. Right? I'd encourage you guys to download the PDF which we have with the chords of this entire song uh, and that'll help you a lot, I guess, while learning the piece of music. Or you could just follow along if you're following the chords well. G. Now C. Back to G. A. D. Back. And now back to C again, like we did earlier. Oh, what fun it is to ride. And now instead of going to that A major chord, we play in a one horse. Keep it simple. Go to D, the dominant directly. One horse open sleigh. Okay. Whole thing again, guys. Sing along. Jingle bells. G major. Mm -mm. Jingle all the way. And C. A, D, back, jingle bells, G, jingle, G, jingle all the way, stay on G, C, more fun, G, G, D, back to G, okay, and now let's do the verse of the song, dashing through the snow and that sort of a thing, dashing through the snow, on a one horse open sleigh Okay, let's work that out melodically Dashing through the snow Slower Dashing through the snow Next In a one horse open sleigh Okay All the fields we go Sort of climbing melodically So All the fields we go And then Laughing all the way Okay, let's do the whole section again Also keep the melody a little staccato That'll sound a lot more groovy Not all the time, here and there Okay, got that? In a one horse open sleigh Oh the fields we go Laughing all the way Continuing, almost the same in the second half Bells on bobtail ring Making spirits bright What fun it is to laugh and sing Okay, get that? What fun it is to laugh and sing A slaying song tonight A slaying song tonight Okay Slaying song tonight Okay, the whole dashing through the snow verse Back to the chords, G major in the beginning. Okay. In a one horse open sleigh. Okay. C major there. Oh, the fields we go. D major because you have this F sharp in the melody. Laughing all the way. Because D major is the dominant and it comes back to G. Okay. 
or just remember the chords G major C major D major back to G major and now almost the same thing and C major what fun it is to write and sing a sing song tonight so that's about the melody and the chords hope you have understood that because that's like the foundation and now the fun stuff begins the rhythm of the left hand so let's get cracking with a rhythm which i think will work for each one of you even if you've started playing the piano i think you can get this and all you have to do is play the chord roots of each chord so if it's g major the root of the chord is the name of the chord so you basically play g and i'd like to create a nice bass line effect so play it deep on the piano maybe this g as opposed to that so you go here and for additional flavor you play the root of the chord and then the fifth of the chord sort of like what a bass player would do in the first place right so you go g d and you just go with the pulse of the song so 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 four let's get that so it's root fifth g d okay now you can do for all the chords you can pretty much play like that g d g d whenever we have a c major chord printed out you should do c g c g c with its fifth which is g and then g d then a major a e is root is a A major's fifth is E and D A D with its fifth A. So that's pretty much your chords, isn't it? So let's do the melody real slow and interact with the left hand now. Earlier the left hand was just holding the blocks, which I think is a nice pattern on its own, but this is going to make it a little bit more groovy and have this bass dimension. It sort of feels like there are two people playing the piano, your right hand and your left hand. So let's get cracking right away. That's the G chord and now C G A D repeat g major and now c chord g d right that's pretty much it and you repeat the same for the verse as well guys so here's pattern 2 for jingle bells it's what i call or what we pretty much call in the piano world as umpa so you go um let's me let me show you the pattern first umpa 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 um so the um indicates the leftmost note of the chord played in a longer way or a legato way pa and um and pa as the syllable indicates is a little bit more on the staccato side so that's why we say umpa to help us create that dynamic between the left and the the low and the higher pitch sound umpa 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 this is pattern 2 okay so what you could do with all these patterns is focus on singing the tune before you actually attempt it on the keyboard jingle bells jingle bells jingle all the way oh what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh hey jingle bells jingle bells jingle all the way oh what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh right and sing freely once you've got the vocals going it will be a lot of fun on its own you can then voice in the piano right hand so
so that's basically umpa so again what is umpa um will be the leftmost note or the basiest note of the chord played in a longer way or a legato way while the pa will be the remaining notes of the chord okay so that's about umpa and the next pattern pattern number 3 if you will would be to play the exact same thing the umpa but to play it in eighth notes we count 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and where in the beat got divided into two equal units so um pa um same thing pa um pa 1 and 2 and 3 and right 1 and 2 and 3 and as always try to sing jingle bells jingle or oh, let's do the other part dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh all the fields we go laughing all the way okay and once you establish the confidence to sing and play the keyboard with this um, uh, eighth note umpa pattern start playing you may have to move the left hand lower depending on where you want to play the right hand if you want to play there you can play your chords here if you want to play here you'll have to move your chords here see same chords so that was pattern 3 now onward to pattern 4 pattern 4 is basically inspired by the blues so a very traditional piano pattern which we play in our left hand is what we call the chicago blues you know it works really well for a lot of blues music you know and it sounds like this we don't want to swing it because jingle bells doesn't appear to be swung so we just stick with pulse and how am i doing this the breakdown of this would be if this is the g major chord g major's root is g g major's fifth is d so you knock off the third don't want the third play the root and fifth together and then you go root and sixth you go one step up so that constitutes one bar of the piece Okay. Let's try sing jingle bells jingle bells jingle all the way. Change oh what fun it is to ride. Now for oh what fun you'll have to change fast, right? Bells open sleigh jingle bells jingle bells jingle all the way. Oh what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. okay and if you're bored playing it this slow you can always play it in eighth notes that will establish like a very rock and roll vibe if you will i quite like this so jingle bells jingle bells jingle all the way speed it oh what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh bit of improv as well if you'd like okay g major c major watch out with your a chord the 6 is f sharp sometimes we play f by mistake okay and yeah that's your blues piano line or rock and roll if you play it like on the faster side Right and the last technique of playing jingle bells which i think works really nicely is what you could call as the ragtime piano version or also what some people call a stride piano inspired by some great american ragtime musicians like like the legendary scott joplin and so on so what you will find them doing is pretty much create the entire 
entire rhythm section the bass and the drum like movement in just one hand freeing up their right hand to really explode you know so what happens here is it's very similar to the umpa style i taught you earlier and it's also very similar to the the 1 5 but we are going to combine that together and go 1 so we do umpa and then drop this g down to its fifth play d and the same two notes there so um pa um pa um pa um you'll have to flip out some fingers probably the middle and then the index has to come in immediately um pa so I, i think this is the coolest one of them all well i actually like all the patterns yeah but this one is quite a workout You see how similar it is to the earlier umpa we learned, right? The earlier umpa just sort of stuck where it was, without drifting towards the fifth. This is a bit tricky because your hands may tend to, your fingers may tend to slip. So if you can practice this, you can use this actually for so many songs, right? So. play jingle bells in all these five techniques and then think maybe there could be other songs which you could apply this for doesn't have to only be christmas right when christmas gets over i'm sure music will continue to be played by all of you so you go this is your umpa with the stride piano technique or the ragtime technique let's recap all the five techniques which we've studied so far Well the first technique which I'm not really calling a technique is just holding the blocks Just hold the chords the next one we did was with the bass line root fifth right then what is the next one we learned we learned the pulse umpa umpa on the pulse then we sped it up to play eighth notes very groovy right and then we did the bluesy version of jingle bells you can make the bluesy version or double that as well to be a nice rock and roll version last but not least i guess the most challenging of them all the ragtime pattern right guys again this is jason from nathaniel thanks a ton for watching this video and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel like the video share the video and also leave us a comment with anything else you'd like to learn and also don't forget to download our pdf notations and all my handwritten notes with all the chords If you haven't already head over to our Patreon channel and also merry christmas and compliments of the season to you and your family cheers